guys, it's Misty with uh, Behold Beauty Boutique. We're going to do a short video on putting on your foundation, your primer, um, your concealer, and do a little bit of contouring. And yes, y'all are seeing me right now look like a hot mess. So I hope you guys stick around and watch the video and watch some tricks that we do. Um, so uh, let's get started. So first off, I'm using... The Princess Potion. Um, we're going to do this. This is your primer and it smells heavenly. It smells so good. And what I do is put it on the back of my hand first. And then I spread it all over my face. Let's see if I can't do something while these blemishes and my dark circles going on today. Don't know what's going on there. But you'll spread that all around and you'll let it sit for a few minutes and let that dry. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells awesome. And that is your primer. And I'll put a link um, to this primer in the comments. And then we're going to do um, this is HD Liquid Coverage by Catrice Cosmetics. This is your foundation. It is awesome. And again, I put it on the back of my hand before I apply. You don't take much of this either. Just so you know. Okay, so then I take my stippling brush. And I just start applying it on my face. And I go from my nose and go out. I think I let my primer sit long enough because it's caking up on my crow seat. And you go all the way up to the hairline. You just kind of work that in your face. Um, I'm going to even go down my neck because that's where I'm going to contour to kind of give it a base. My crow's feet are off the chain today. Let's see if we can't hide them a little bit. Make sure that's well blended in. And then we'll go in with our um our concealer. I always do my foundation first. And then I do my concealer. And then with my concealer, I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define. This stuff is awesome. It comes with a really thick brush. So then I would just go under my eyes. I make a like a triangle under my eyes. And then any spots that you want to cover up. And I do it on the top of my lip and the end of my nose. And I'll go ahead and cover these two spots up as well. And then I take a um I take a sponge and I wet it and I squeeze it out in a beauty blender. And then I just start pressing this in my skin. And with my eyes, I always press upward. Kind of give a little highlight. To your nose and then we'll blend this and 
then after I pushed this all in my skin, and I don't know if I told y'all, but I always dampen and squeeze it out my beauty blender. Makes it spread without caking up. And then I take a blending brush and I just kind of blend everything together. Where you don't have such white patches. And then we're going to work on the contour a little bit. So I am using Milani Contour and Highlight. Um, and then I just kind of go. You can do whatever features that you want to highlight. So I try to highlight my cheekbones a little. Looks like war paint. And then I go along my jawline. And then I do down to hide any, to give a fade to hide your double chin a little bit. And then I go back with my stempling brush and I just kind of blend it in. And when you're blending your contour in your neck and your jawline, you blend it and you kind of press a little bit. I do anyway. And then I just go down to blend it into my neck. So it kind of highlights your face, but it hides your double chin that I, that I got going on. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it gives a shadow to where your double chin kind of goes away. And you can keep doing that till you don't see white spots anymore under your neck. So it just kind of gives a shadow and hides and makes your face shape come out. And then what I would do after that, I would go ahead and go in with your blush and I'm going to use this color right here this is the Revolution Pro HD Amplified Palette and I take an angled uh, brush blush brush blush brush jays you know anyway and then I kind of I'm if you make the kissy face it's better because it brings out your jaw uh, your cheekbones and it kind of highlights your cheekbone then I'll go back with the blending brush and smooth it out to where it's not so bright and then after I do all of that, I will take my NYX HD finishing powder. Mine is white or translucent. And I would get it on my big powder brush. And you want to set, set all this to where it stays on. And there you go. So then I will come back and um, we will do work with some eyeshadow and work on the eyes. But that is how I apply foundation, primer, contouring, and concealer. So, and it'll all look better once I have my eyes fixed because my eyes look like a hot mess right now. But thanks for watching. I'll, um, Put some links in the comment where you can check out some of the products that I like. And we will be back.